please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. Hi friends, it's Queen Alita and I'm back today with a prophetic message from the Lord. This one is based not on a dream, but more on what you know the Lord was revealing to me in my heart. It's actually been a series of things that have happened um, in my life and I'm seeing the same things happening in those around me, people close to me and you know God just kind of putting the puzzle together for me in my mind. Um, so yeah, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new. So like I said, it's based on just what I've seen the Lord doing in probably the last, let me see where are we now. Yeah. In the last year, um, just what he has been doing personally for me and I'm seeing the pattern in other people's lives and it's almost like you know I went through some things well not almost I did go through some things <laughs> and um, now so many people with kind of like similar experiences um, keep popping up in my life or you know um, just they they're speaking uh, about stuff that I just recently went through in this last year and it's actually a blessing because you know god is able to use me to help them understand what what's going on and why they're going through what they're going through so um yeah that's what the word is based on today i felt led to come and share um what god is doing if if this word is for you so some of you may find yourself in <laughs> in situations um, that you didn't think you would. Um, you may have gone through, um, you know, a process with the Lord where you've come into relationship with Him. You you've been walking with Him. He's been helping you through your wilderness. You know, you've just been in this beautiful relationship with the Lord. And you find yourself back in a situation or you just keep coming back to a place. Um, and usually there's a lot of pain involved there. It's like a, a wound just keeps getting picked at, right? And you ask yourself, God, why? Why am I here again? Why am I going through this again? I've done what you've asked me to do. I've been obedient. I have followed you. I have surrendered. I have done this and I've done that. And you're almost just upset with the Lord because why? Why would you let me go through this again? And this is something that I, like I said, I've been through this, especially in the last year. And, um, you know, it's been a couple of maybe more than two, you know, just very distinct places I found myself back in and just asking God, why am I going through this? And with each instant when i asked him he revealed to me the reason that i was in that situation again and it boils down to the fact that god wants to heal that wound <laughs> and i know it seems like um almost counterproductive because you know you would think that in order to heal he would get you as far away from that same scenario as possible but no it's like in that very place where the damage was done where the trauma occurred he's going to take you back to that very place whether it's physically um or just through experiences and you know what i actually just want to um say i i know that i said this is something I was experiencing just in the last year. But no, I just got reminded by the Lord that um, it goes further back. Um, I'm just thinking about stuff that I had to do years ago, you know, going back to a place where I was like, but God, you know, you know, I don't want to be there because, you know, of all the trauma I've experienced. And he was like, no, nope, you're going back there. And in that very place, I was healed of that trauma that I had experienced there. So... 
it's been a process. I think the last year was just accelerated. It was like a lot of things were dealt with. It was like, okay, you, <laughs> you've gone through this one. Here's the next one, you know? So, um, yeah, basically you just asking God why. And like I said, it is so that you can be healed because where the wound was created, where the trauma happened, um, is where you need to overcome running away from it feeling like god shouldn't allow you to be in that place or to go back to deal with this or to experience that thing again is running away from it and it's not going to help you because it's going to keep following you and it's almost like you know when trauma happens this is something that i learned many years ago i forgot who i was listening to but i used to listen to a lot of people i used to eat up um you know like biblical lectures and teachings i used to listen when i started in relationship with the lord i was constantly researching and reading stuff so i listened to a lot of people um as led by the lord of course and one of the things that i learned was that whenever trauma happens um it's almost like a gateway for the enemy certain demons attach to that place because it's it's it, there's a breaking there there's a crack that's come in your heart is broken and that's an opening for the enemy the enemy will take any opportunity to latch on so for example as a child if something traumatic happens to you you almost immediately start to make certain vows in a vows like i'll never let this happen again or i'll never do that again or i'm shutting this person out that's that's what the demons attach to right so as long as you don't go and confront those things and go and be in that place of hurt again you won't be able to overcome those demons and that is why you find yourself in that same position again like god i thought you said that you were taking me to this place or that place or that you know i'm walking to my promised land and i'm going into my blessing He's saying, yes, you absolutely are, but you can't take that with you. You can't take it with you to your promised land because you won't be able to manage what you need to when you're there. He needs you to be of a different mindset. He needs you to be healed. Those wounds need to be healed, stitched up, um, completely scabbed and, <laughs> you know, just unpenetrable, you know. So... He reminded me of the Israelites, how they spent 40 years wandering in the wilderness because they just did not put in the effort to overcome the trauma that they experienced in Egypt. The Lord could not let them go into the land of promise carrying that. So those who were committed to change, who were committed to facing things and, you know, going into the land with a healthy mindset were permitted to go through so that's that's why you find yourself where you are right now it's not that god doesn't care it's not that he he's cruel or anything like that he is not a cruel god he's a good good father and he's doing this to help you to overcome and one of the things that i um would say to the lord is okay god you're showing me this thing that i have to overcome I have put up all these walls, I've protected myself in this way, or I've used this coping mechanism. I don't know how to overcome this. I don't know how to not do this thing. I don't know how to not want to protect myself. I don't know how to overcome this thing that you're showing me. I need you to do this. Literally, God will do it. There have been countless times where I've prayed that prayer and I've seen God just change me change my mindset change my heart help me to come to a place where i've overcome that very thing sometimes it's through a very specific event but most of the time it's gradual and sometimes the the gradual nature of it so like in the last year it wasn't dragged out um i would pray that prayer and he would immediately reveal to me okay this is what i need you to focus on i need you to pray this prayer or say this so um there was something that i had to overcome recently just literally a few weeks ago and as i was in prayer and just asking god about it i had this experience where i found myself 
back as a little girl in that moment where I made a certain agreement with myself, where I came into agreement with the enemy about a particular thing and settled. You know, it, it's almost like I settled for something that the enemy gave me back then and I took it on and it became mine. In that moment, I was experiencing that moment as though I was that little girl again. And it hit me so, <laughs> so intensely. And it was clear as day that I had to come out of agreement with that. And so the Lord made it literally a few days later, probably two days later, um, everybody had to had stuff to do. And I was alone in the house, which is very rare. <laughs> so there I was alone and it was probably going to be a couple of hours of just me being alone. And he said, now I want you to pray. I want you to speak out loudly and come out of agreement with that thing. So I worshipped, I prayed, and I broke that agreement. And this is basically what the Lord is saying to you today. Come to him. Ask him why. Why am I here again? I know you're a good father, but show me what I need to see. Because he wants you to overcome that thing. So that you can move forward. So that you can come into your promise the scriptures, um, there are two scriptures that he gave me today for this. And the first one is Psalm 51 verse 10. And it says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. These things, these traumas that you've experienced kind of taint your heart because they break your heart and it's not complete. And God has to come in and clean all of that stuff out. And only he can do that. That's why most of the time I just surrender it and say, God, I can't do this. Help me to overcome it. Show me what I need to do. Sometimes he'll say, I need you to stand against this particular spirit, rebuke it and get rid of it. Sometimes he will just change my heart and I'll literally see the difference as time goes on. So, and other times it's come out of agreement with that agreement you made, you know. So, it all depends on how he's speaking to you. That's him cleaning out your heart and renewing a right spirit within you so that you can move forward. The second scripture is from Ezekiel uh, chapter 36 verse 26 and it says, And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. When you are traumatized, your heart is hardened. And there are certain places that you don't want to um, reveal. And it will affect where you're going. It will affect your relationships. It will affect, um, you know, everything in your life. And God wants to remove that heart of stone from you. So that you can be that trusting, beautiful, perfect creation that he's he created and it all the crux of the matter is this everything you've experienced at the hands of people you know people that should have protected you people that should have loved you should have done this and that and they didn't and they hurt you the whole what god keeps showing me with everything that he's had had me overcome is that yeah they did that to you but i didn't Yes, that person rejected you, but I've never rejected you. Yes, um, that person made you, put you in a certain place, but I've always put you first, you know. So when he started to help me understand things that way, shifting my focus to how he sees me and how he's always uh, treated me, that was almost like the key that just unlocked the pain and just unlock the healing actually not the pain it unlocked the healing um over me knowing that yeah people have done this but god has never done this people are people we're all broken <laughs> none of us is perfect and 99 percent of the time when people hurt us it's because of their own issues and we tend to take all of these things personally. Like they did this to me. It's because of their own brokenness. It's because they just couldn't live up to what you expected. Only God can. God is the only one that is perfect, that will love you perfectly. 
So friends, that's the word for today. Know that God really is a good father. He's not cruel for allowing you to go through that same thing again. The Israelites wandered around that wilderness for 40 years. He kept bringing them around that mountain. And he's going to keep bringing you around the mountain until you confront those things. And you need to ask him. The only way that I was able to confront them was by asking like, okay, God, why am I here again? Now it's just standard. When I find myself in a repeat situation, I'm like, okay, why? And he shows me. Okay, so (laughs) that's the word. Like I said, I pray it's blessed whoever it's for. And I will see you in the next video. Always remember that God really is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friend, are so deeply special to him.